you've unscrewed the handle from the plunger, you'll now want to attach the metal basket to the plunger to make your base. The glue that I used that I found did the best job was this one right here, and I purchased it from my local hardware store. The next step you'll want is if you want to stain the, the handle, you need to do that now. And also, if you want to spray paint or paint the basket part, you'll want to go on and do that before you assemble it. I feel like it would be easier. Before I stain my pole, I've chosen, I'm not going to paint it, I'm going to stain mine, and I'll show you the stain I'm going to use in a minute. But I have this cap assortment package that I purchased at Walmart. It was very inexpensive. I think it was less than $3. And in the packet, you get um, three, um, I'm sorry, you get six little finials, and they're different sizes and shapes. So I'm going to pick out one that will fit the best on the tip of mine. And I think it'll be this little size right here. And I'm going to glue it on the top so when I stain it, I can go on and stain this piece too. And this is, once I get this glued together, these two pieces here for my top, then I will take the shower curtain ring or the little binder, binder ring, whatever you call it, and then I will glue it to this to make, to make the top, to make the ring at the top. And just glue it and I'm going to probably leave it the bronze color that it is for this piece you could also just look around your house for something you could use a big hoop earring there's a lot of things that you could look and find that would look cute um, glued to the top of this just to make that that little ring thing little decorative thing at the top so I'm going to go on and do that now and I'm going to go on and use the glue that I purchased or since these two are wood, you could also probably use, um, you know, Elmer's wood glue or Gorilla wood glue. Whatever glue you have on hand, that would work best, you know, gluing wood to wood. So I'm going to do that.